Hey guys, um, today, today we're gonna um, teach you and tell you about hamsters outside and playing with them outside. We do not recommend um, just leaving them in the grass. Always have supervision over them. Um, never put them in the grass alone. Always have a bucket, playpen with the bottom on top, under, I mean. <laughs> um, Keep away from all plants is my best thing. Even your grass. You don't know if it's been treated or not. It's the best thing um, for your hamster. Keep away from weeds. Here's like, a weed that they can try to eat. Yeah. Like, or like the clovers. Just, just keep them away from everything because you know what bugs have been on there and everything else. Just keep them in a pen. Or her. Yeah. Um, sorry, car went by. Um, keep them away from bugs, lizards. Um, love snakes. Like, talk, talk about the. Um, um, oh, love bugs. Love bugs. Keep them away from love bugs. That's what I'm gonna say. And about love bugs. Why I keep them away from love bugs? Because love bugs can lay eggs on humans and animals, and then you will get a really bad infection. And keep them away from mosquitoes, bees, wasps. Those are very poisonous to hamsters. And make sure your hamster, um, this is going to be all on hamsters, we'll make a one, video on guinea pigs and rabbits, just say, because they're Not easier. really guinea pigs, but mostly rabbits. But they go together, because they're pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, and if you have a bottomless make sure pen, you have them in the shade, because they can get overheated. And because yeah, like, playpens usually don't have bad. water bottles in them, that's a really good thing to think about. Yeah. Um, you can always put a water bowl in there, but it won't keep them on hydrated that long. Another thing, don't put them in the wheel, and or not the wheel, oh, the, the ball. ball, and let them run around the grass. Because that can, they can also, because grass is thin enough to where it can fit through the ball slits, they can go, ooh, what's this? And try to eat it. Yep. Doesn't he look so cute? Yeah. Um, He's yeah. eating all the peanuts. Yeah. Um, Lizards, um, I'm going to explain why you can keep them away from that. Because um, some lizards, they can carry rabies. Yes. Or have I, some kind of diseases. You yeah. don't know where these animals or have bugs been. have been. Snakes will eat your hamster instantly if they're hungry. Yeah, also, especially rat snakes. search in the sky. Make sure it's a different time to where, even if you research this, because we just know we're not. Look up. Birds, come out. But hawks love these animals, and they will attack you to eat your hamster, okay? So look for hawks. If they're circling around you, don't take them outside that day. Um, yeah. The only reason we don't have a water bowl in here is because he hasn't been. Okay, you can't really tell that much, so I'm trying, trying to see. But it is windy today. Yeah, it's Can I show a leaf? Oh, right bit. there, those grass. Can't really tell from here. But, but it is windy today. That's good for your hamster. But not too windy because it can knock the playpen down and it can let your hamster loose. Um, if your hamster cage is outside, um, like ours is right now, but we're going to be moving it inside. Um, make um, sure it's in the shade, you know, have like... We oh, have oh, oh, I have another insect. Um, spiders. Spiders carry venoms. They have diseases. Um which cannot be spread to humans, but to animals. Um, keep them away from ants, fire ants, anything like that. Anything tiny that can hurt or bite you is bad. Is worse for your hamster because they are much, much tinier. And smaller and have worse like, immune systems and all that stuff. It's because they're smaller. Um, and they're more curious than humans. So they think, oh, what's this thing? It can fly. They might touch it or try to eat it or something and then they're make gonna sure get you're just that gnats are away from your animal shoot them away before they even touch you because they're just a bother and you don't know because in the wild they do eat gnats but you don't know but those are black-footed hamsters black-footed hamsters they um they have diseases and they can if contaminate they're, they're diseases in the into their diseases so that means like they can have a disease, and then when they eat something with a disease. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave us a message, comment, or subscribe. Those bugs are going to bite. Bye. Oh. We know we're talking about it. Right, right here, we're heading in the grass. Stone.
Bye. Bye-bye.